She came in through the bathroom window. Protected by a silver spoon. And now she sucks her thumb and wanders by the banks of her own lagoon. It's not the only thing she said. Okay. Just. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's of course talking about your mama again. I'm a brick. We got a. This is called Rajasar recording. What? Read this. This. Shivain Mega recording. This is the video of Rajasar recording in Hungary for the song from the movie Mega. This song is a special composition for Rajasar as it is a dedication to his wife Jiva, who had passed away a few years before this song released. It's still widely believed he never recovered completely from his wife's passing as she was his pillar of strength. Well, what a shock. You, you, you don't. You don't. Of you course don't. not. And how long were they married, I can imagine. If you don't, if, if you are a, in a loving marriage and you really love your spouse. There's no recovery. You do that. not recover from the other one dying. No, it's like, it's like the, even recovering if get, from a loss of a child. It's even not Even if happen. you get remarried, nope. you don't recover from losing the love of your life. <laughs> It's like he recovered from the loss of his limb. Well, yeah, he's surviving life that way, but the limb didn't come back. Yeah, yeah, I have no doubt. But yeah, so a lot of people, since we like to see him do it live, this is yeah. him in a live session awesome. in his process uh, recording a song. Awesome. So that's cool. Um, we enjoyed that. Maybe he can become our dose. Mr. Ilya Raja, the composer, and, and he will, yeah, very nice to have you. They're in Sweden, is that what they said? Holland. Holland. Okay, what is the tempo? What will be the tempo? Tempo. Same. You, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no. I totally know. Oh, 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 Have you ever been in one of these situations? Oh yeah, like somebody many many times. Yeah, especially uh, whether it was recording or just choral instruction with a choir, or rehearsing for a musical. So when you were working with the music director.
Not getting it. I'm not getting it. Oh, yeah, so I 
take this one in. Seriously, can sit and watch in a, a studio like that for hours on end. Yeah, it's so interesting because obviously, anytime you uh, have a genie, they have it in their head. Everything that's already it's already done up here, mm -hmm. and then they get frustrated when you can't. Yes, they and they can't articulate to you exactly. They're just like, okay, do no, 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 that's not right. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's why I really uh, some of the best engineers are, are really really patient people because the the one creating it and who's doing the arranging and the composing, they want something and sometimes you, you miss that. And I've, I've found that arrangers are, I mean, uh, uh, engineers and producers tend to be some of the most patient people. Like think about when we did our stuff with Stephen Bowler, he, fo he functioned as our engineer at that yeah. time. And there'd be times where you want to nail it and you're not getting it. You're like, oh, I'm so sorry. And he's just, no, we're good. However many takes we have to go, we'll go. They're typically pretty, pretty flexible too. And they also have to be, able to set aside their particular thing. Cause you know, they're hearing things as well, but if you're not giving Rajasar what he wants, you got to find what he wants, yeah. not what you want. And he's like the director of a film. Obviously. Exactly. He's the director of this music. You yep. have to, he is the boss. This is his vision. Yep. He, and so you have to, no, we should Same thing, same thing singing because he may have changed things since they were given their vocal. So they've had, they may have had a rehearsal that morning before he walked in and they just saw the piece. They may have not, they may have just looked at it and started singing. And since he wrote it, he may have had some changes he wanted, like making sure that you can't really notate in the music for vocals how dark you want the sound to be. So you have to tell them what you want with the O sound. You don't want it to be a big ah, you want it to be an O sound. And he may have changed like the breathing pattern. He told them, I don't want you to breathe for the entire four bars. And musically, it may have said, breathe after each bar. And so you just, Make the adjustment and do it. That in the music, to breathe. yeah, it'll it'll give you breathing notation for yeah. for a singing part. It'll tell you if you should when you should break and how many how many beats you should rest before you come back in again. It'll also not always, but it'll give you dynamics as far as if you should increase being loud, if you should hit it louder, if you should be soft when you come back on it. That's typically all in the notation. Yeah, yeah, it's always fun to watch him work. I, I enjoy that. There's actually a bunch of them working because that's just, it's fun to watch. Geniuses. So fun. Uh, work so let us know if there's more of this other artists like our dost Ayo Rahman as well uh that you know that's always going to happen now right yeah you know anybody we interview they become our dost just automatically because of you can thank Pankaj for that he's the one who let us know down below Josh!